can't even see. How does this even work? Yo, I'm about to pass gas. I think it's the soup. Let me see. <laughs> oh no, I just know it's a bad one. Just by the way, he's smiling. Oh no, what is this one? Ah, Bismillah, God help us all. Here we go. Demetrius, he fell in love with Jade, a furry. Oh no, this shit is crazy, bro. All of this shit is crazy. Chat, you know what I seen? I went to a park. I went to a park, right? And they were all dressed up as like animals and fairies and they were playing with one another like in a public park where children are, chat. So children see them act part of like grown men and women act like in, in this manner. Walla, that's crazy. I said, Walla, like at least do that privately. Like publicly is crazy. But Demetrius wasn't too fond on being with a furry. I know the, the furry phantom is something new to him. It's kind of like- Bro, why, did, why do I see all the dog shit in North Carolina? I'm moving. I'm moving. I swear to God I am. I'm moving. I gotta move out of here, bro. And since Jade introduced him to the furry world, he has dealt with some consequences. Friends, I don't really have any left from them finding out. Today, they're breaking some news to his last friend. Furry is paying our bills because we're doing things. This is our room. I call it the dungeon. It's where we film all of our adult content in here. It should be called the kennel. No. And usually I let my subscribers pick what kind of content we do for the week. I'm Jade and this is my partner Demetrius and we're judged online because we make adult content. I'm not gonna lie, she just looks like she's weird, like she has a hidden agenda. For suits. I was in high school and I used to draw a bunch of like characters with hair and like human characteristics. So I got my first fursuit. I think it was 2020 when I graduated. Furries are just cosplayers. This is Velvet. She's a wolf dog. I was really shy in high school growing up and... The like she has potential, you know what I mean by that? Like, yes, yes chat, I would. Like, like if, if this wasn't involved, obviously. Like she has potential, it's just unfortunately she just... She just threw that in the water though. These characters give me a different personality and it makes me put myself out there more. I see myself as a extension when I have my fursuit on. I'm about to tell my boyfriend. Somebody in the chat said, Oda, but she's a liberal. Yeah, but you're only using it as a pile of pleasure. Remember, Chupapi? Just a quick nut, like a super strength dose. And then you're out of there. You see what I'm saying? Like get out of my face after. You're just, you're just a pile of pleasure. That's it. I'm a furry, so we're gonna see his reaction. A fursuit? What the hell is a fursuit? A yeah. And you're just now telling me. Yeah. I thought you wouldn't care. I lived with a furry, so I, destiny is kind of how we met. My roommate, I was having a furry party at my first apartment about a year ago. Yeah. And it, I, I, not very- Why does it, why, why, why are they acting as if like he's coming out? Did you see the way she's like, yeah, go ahead. Like, like, like he's saying something crazy. Like, like, bro, that's not a traumatic experience, bro. Just say how it is. Very keen on the whole furry phantom thing. At least I wasn't. I didn't want to go out. I was stuck in my room. There was a bunch of furries in my apartment. People that are just odd that I didn't want to hang out with very much. And she kind of forced her way into my room, but in a nice way. Like, you know, she didn't take no for an answer in the best way possible. <laughs> Awkward moments for sure. <laughs> but it's like a version of her, but it's still Jade. She's in there. Well, to be fair, chat. I'm not gonna lie, his costume looks like a whole sack. Do you guys see that? Sorry, I don't know why I'm saying that. But you know what's crazy? To be fair, I could have been wearing the, one of these costumes. I applied for Chuck E. Cheese before, chat. I got denied. Swear to God I did. Chat, you guys didn't know that. Some of you guys didn't know that. I applied to work at Chuck E. Cheese. They denied my ass. I was gonna be the red and everything. <laughs> I swear to God I did. And they fucking denied me. They never gave me a call back. We moved into our first apartment and realized how expensive rent was and how expensive just living in general was. You want the nice things in life? You want to be able to be unemployed, have nice clothes, have your rent paid for? Come here. I want to say Walla. Walla, I went to a Chuck E. Cheese interview and they didn't call me back and they did it. They denied me. Like they didn't even call back or anything. I even dressed up as like a nice, like buttoned up shirt with some jeans and I was so excited for the job interview. Walla, I did. I'm not even lying. Come here. So I told him about how there is a couple other furry creators that do adult content. And I was like, because I've already spent so much money on it. I would say, think over, what do you think? Over $25,000. $25,000. And I was like, what? on what? On the costumes? Nah, bro. I'm hand making those, bro. Give me a cardboard box and give me a pencil. <laughs> give me a cardboard box and a pencil. Hell no. I'd, I'd hand make those, bro. I'll try to at least.
why not make money off of the items that I own now? And we kind of slowly got into it and it took him a while to like really understand what it was and accept that we would be doing adult content online. I'd say it doesn't really change our intimate life that much. I mean, of course, during content, she might be wearing a fursuit. Always so wearing one, yeah. I just gotta remember it's her behind it and not the mascot. And that doesn't mean I act like a dog, all right? Pretty normal, it's not weird, guys. It's really not weird. Sometimes when we're not filming, it still is fun. Yeah. 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 I mean, we like to play around with it. I'm attracted to animals. I am not. Or he's attracted to animals because I wear my fursuit and obviously we do adult content in it. Not true. Dating a furry who's a girl has to be a fate worse than death. So at first when I started posting on social media. <laughs> it's like double trouble, huh? People react to me in a very negative way in public. When teenagers come up to me, they'll be barking at me from across the street or yelling something very negative across the street. But when you see like a little kid with their parents, usually the parents will smile at me and the kid will want a picture. So it can go either or sometimes. You mean the kid what? Cry. What did you do? Friends, I don't really have any left from you heard the kid crying in the background that was my child chat you i dare you i dare you to see these go go in front of my son again i dare you yeah i'm so sick of these guys bro I went to that park and i saw them them finding out the concern they had it and mostly was just immaturity not wanting to do their own research just listening to what they've been brainwashed into believing is true but i realized is that the people that are no longer in my life because of our life i don't want my life anyways my friend Cade's coming over, and we're going to talk to him about our relationship, see how he feels. He actually stuck around through everything after uh, a lot of other people didn't. I had some questions, I mean, obviously, because I don't know why. I'm just like a, I'm on the outside of this. But yeah. Just stuff like, what is it like? What is it, is it, do you think it might be different than being in a regular relationship? Yeah, I mean, it is different because, you know, he obviously wasn't a furry before. He still isn't, but I include him in a lot of my content obviously mm -hmm. you enjoy it right yeah it's fun I mean, yeah at first i was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it's it's just day to day now it's made it work yeah fantastic so how long do you plan on like being a furry or not really just being a furry but actually actively dressed i bro's captain bro he just wants to smash respect bro tank it out tank it out i want to save and invest and hopefully quit in 10 20 years maybe you know i never know furry <laughs> is paying our bills and then some because we're doing OnlyFans with it, yeah, together. And it makes good money? Um, it does really good, yeah. surprisingly. So we turned it into my, at least my full-time job. I honestly think it would be like dumb of us to not do the OnlyFans for, you know, at least another year or two because okay. like what it's making just in the first few months is absurd. Yeah. It's like more than most people make in a year. At this point, you're convincing me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, if it's making money, you got to do it sometimes. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. You're just moving up and all you're doing is going up. You guys are working together. You guys are growing together. It's an amazing thing to see. It's really cool. She's always supporting. This guy's just high as f He doesn't even know what's happening. He, If you ask this guy to repeat what just happened, he'd probably be like, Four grams, three three hundred dollars, like that. He'll just say random shit. Okay, bro. Yeah, this is not. This is not. I'm not wearing this anytime. Maybe like maybe if I get frisky with it with City Name. How does this even work? 